Hey everyone, welcome back, and we are currently in Skyrim. Uh, one thing that I need to do real fast is re-enable the uh, cursor slash crosshair, because I did not do that last time, apparently. There we go. So, if you do not... So if you remember from last time, we've mostly just been tooling around and doing whatever. Last episode in particular, if I do remember correctly, we have been raiding the Blackbriar. Um, or we did the quest for Blackbriar. So we raided the... Let's see, we did that one, followed by me doing Blackbriar's quest, which resulted in us stopping the Honeydew Meadery, as well as reading the Lusty Argonian Maid. So, if you are interested in that, uh, feel free to check out the previous episode if you want to hear me read the Lusty Argonian Maid. I would regard against that, though, because I have a hard time not laughing. Anyways... What's on our to-do list? Return to Brynjolf. Hmm. You know what? Let's leave that open in the air. And... How about we... Hmm. Let's take a wander down to the Dark Brotherhood and see what they have to bring. So the best way for us to do that would be to go to the roadside ruins and explore the area around there to find the secret door that leads to the underground, the Guild Sanctuary. Ah. Here we go. Let us embark upon this upcoming quest for us to... Uh, whatever. What is the music of life? Silence, my brother. Voila, in view, a humble vaudevillian veteran cast by cares of a victim and villain by the vestiges of fate. This visage, no mere veneer of vanity, is a vestige of the fox puppy, now vacant to vanish. However, this fellow is vestigated by a bygone vexation, sans vilify, and stands to vanquish these villain furry stands by guardians of the And I've got the rest of them there. That is what I remember from the V for Vendetta, um... Introduction, Vanguard Enemies, Vice, Saving Throw, Fish, uh, something, I don't know. I used to have it memorized because I once had to do a, um, a, what's it called? Where you have to animate, uh, typography. I had to do a typography assignment in Adobe Animate. And I chose to do mine on that speech because I was a huge fan of that uh, movie. At last. I hope you found the place all right. Perhaps. Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Mmm. Yes. The silence suits you. Gives you an air of mystery. Now, down to business. I'm arranging a job for you. But in the meantime, go talk to Nazir. He may have some smaller contracts to tide you over. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, uh, but one last thing. A welcome home present. 
the armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your endeavors. Perfect. This is my favorite armor set to have in the lower levels because it is the best for this kind of activity. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract is very well smart. Has it now. Quite a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damn messy. And what of your latest Arnbjorn? Something about the Khajiit. Merchant woman. Oh, a big brother kiss and a little kitty. How adorable. <laughs> <laughs> not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. <laughs> All right. I feel offended. All right, so let's have this ASMR be focused upon meeting the members of the Dark Brotherhood because why not? The old uncle nobody talks to. You go your way up. There you are. Astrid told me all about you. Heard you pulled the old choose your victim gag. Uh, I love that one. This one's my favorite. New brother, may I offer my most sincere welcome to our family. You certainly have a strange energy about you. I look forward to following your progress. What a curious question. Well, I enjoy moonlit nights, taking long walks on the beach, knitting, and unicorns. God, I love her so much. In fact, I once took a seaside stroll on a moonlit night and discovered a unicorn, which I proceeded to stab in the throat with a crochet needle. I'm a woman of refined yet simple taste. I can see you. All right, now time for the 400-year-old vampire. Don't let my appearance throw you off. I'm older than you, a lot older. Getting bitten by a vampire when you're 10 will do that to a girl. Okay, so... I'm just a little girl. The Dark Brotherhood killed my mama and papa, and then they took me captive. Please, please help me. <laughs> Rather convincing, don't you think? No, not really. In truth, I'm no more a little girl than you are. I was once, of course. Three hundred years ago. Oh, my bad. The vampires intend to keep one remarkably forever. Some I call the skunk. Oh, Me, come on. I call the professor. Uh, uh, so you're interested in my potions and ingredients? See, I like that one because she sounds so sweet and innocent and not like a complete uh -huh. savage killer. Okay, grumpy old uncle. Oh, you're not the uncle. You are. 
too much of an obsession these days with knives and arrows. You could kill someone just as easily with a well-placed spell. I'm just trying to imagine you hiding inside the body of a man. I like to say I was born with a wand when I become one. Well, not literally. You could see how painful that would have been for about no one. Nice. But I was a prodigy, casting simple spells by one, completing complex incantations by three, resurrecting corpses by seven. Ha! When I was 13, I accidentally burned down the family home. Bit of lightning gone awry. Oh, but soon after, I completely None of them truly understood the I don't like the werewolf guy because he was talking about using it because she has a loincloth. Yes. Kajit finds his taste in clothing most distasteful. And Kajit wishes the interaction between him and I will be that of a refined nature, I suppose. And Kajit understands accent may be foul and not so good. But the raspy nature of it may be good for this ASMR stuff. Let us speak with our Argonian brother. My brother. Welcome, my brother. Welcome to our sanctuary. You have made the right choice joining us, I assure you. You just trust in Astrid, follow her orders, and you'll do fine here. Once I was a Shadow Scale, an assassin in service to the King of Black Marsh. Trained by the Dark Brotherhood since the day of my hatching. Ah, uh, but that was a lifetime ago. Today, I am the last of my kind. My order is extinct. Now, I happily serve Astrid in this sanctuary. I am a trained killer, and once again have been given purpose. Life is good. Congratulations. Stay safe. Kaji thanks you for your story. Uh, I have no idea if that even sounds good or not because like you know when you do an impression you think it sounds good but it doesn't so probably sounds like nails on a chalkboard but Khajiit does not care so you're the newest member of our dwindling dysfunctional little family I've heard quite a bit about you <sighs> ah, going for the mysterious and brooding thing, huh? That may work for your target, but you'll find I'm not so easily impressed. Astrid said you may have some work for me. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available to be completed at your leisure. Sounds simple enough. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either, but they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. And you just went from being a real person to a complete NPC game character breaking the fourth wall. Congratulations. Happy hunting. <sighs> 
You can turn them in one at a time and wait until the end and turn them on at the same time. I'm obviously a video game character. Why are you still marked? So many contracts. Well then, let's get... Your targets are the beggar Narthi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytilg, a mine boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. All right. Good luck. And try not to get Come here, Poppy. Well, well. Yes, raw right. meat. Oh my I beautiful wife has told me about, all about you. Remain silent. I'll give you a week before you end up dead in a ditch. Look, if you're trying to get to know me, don't. I don't, don't like, like you. And I'll never will. It's not, it's not personal, personal but. but my wife trusts you. And, and I, I trust, trust her judgment. judgment. So you, you can't, can't all bad. Here's all you need to know. I'm a werewolf. werewolf. I, I like killing like things. I love history. I, I hate annoying people. people. And the color blue gives me a headache. Right then. Oh, mother, sweet mother, Cicero has you just fine. Three sixty no scope. Oh, maybe not. You saw nothing. You reek of death, my friend. I salute you. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. Ugh. Sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. All right. Let's go be assassin. Well, one of those is easy to do because we already have the location mapped out. Wow, these animals are kind of itchy. Alright, Dawnstar is always a pain to do because of how many guards there are at night. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. An old fort, maybe. Do any of you guys else have the thing where when you yawn, like your eyes start watering? Because like for me, whenever I yawn, it looks like I've like burst into tears and I hate it. It's like right now I have tears just streaming down my face right now. Oh, I missed. By whom? Whoops, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Um, 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 um. Can I equip this on you? No, nope. crap. Shoot. Um, 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 uh, I'm so sorry. Alright, well, crap. Uh. All right. Uh, 
so we just have our target a little bit ahead of us here. We watched the parallax effect on each of the markers. We can get a pretty good idea of where they all are. Wow, I should really go to bed. But thankfully this is part of my, my nightly routine now, so. Uh, I'm a little worried about how um, going back to school next week is going to affect my uploading schedule. Because there were a few times where um, just the workload would cause me to not be able to upload. But I think that I found the perfect way to deal with that with last one, with last time. So I'll be recording the perfect amount of videos during the weekend to make sure that I have enough with a couple during the week. And I'll be building a stockpile so that way I'm going the wrong direction entirely. All right. So... If there is ever a sudden gap in videos and I miss a day, uh, please have a little bit of patience. So, it is a little, uh, little difficult to keep a consistent daily upload, especially when I'm getting hammered with homework. But thankfully, um, my schedule gives me Tuesdays and Thursdays entirely, so I should be able to record Mondays and Wednesday nights, or as well as Friday nights, and do all the editing I need to. So, hopefully that'll turn out well. If not, um, I'll work with work around some things and get things better. Wow, I've made a mistake. But thankfully, um... My schedule is a lot easier to deal with this year than it was last year, just due to the classes I'm taking along with um, some other factors, such as the fact that I will not be doing a um, programming class nor a math class this semester. It's mostly just the wrap-up stuff that the college is requiring me to take before I move on with my studies. So, uh, why am I struggling so much with an adept lockpick? It should be right here. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, let's get rid of this fool. <sighs> Seriously? Oh. Come on. Someone wanted you dead. And I'm really interested to know why and if it was justified. But I'll never know. Uh, for you are nothing more than a simple contract kill. A nameless NPC that probably deserves it. Okay, here we go. The final contract kill is upon us. That's cool. Uh, 
I gotta really up my thumbnail game. I haven't been doing pretty good. I haven't been doing a good job with those recently. And I really gotta, like the Minecraft ones, I've got down to a science. But like Subnautica, Stardew Valley, Skyrim are a lot harder because they're not, you know, you can't fabricate them. Like, with Minecraft, you can go and you can, you know, you, you know exactly what a good thing to do is because it, it's predictable, it's easy. Okay, you know what, I'm trying to let it so you can live, Mr. Bear, but you're just being a little bit of a pest. So if you really want to go down this road, Mr. Bear, we can go down this road. But I'm going to warn you that this is nothing more than a mistake on your part. <sighs> Sleep tight, you beast of burden. Man, wouldn't we all be? Uh -huh. You're kind of mean. <sighs> what should I use for this? A new orchestra of draining. Then we aim, release, and death. No, let me get rid of his body. It's important that I dispose of this mess. Perfect. Oh no, it was the Forsworn. Alright, let's get out of here. Huh. Curious. Curious and naked. Alright, well, let's go turn those contracts in for some quick gold. It was a fairly relaxed episode, mostly just talking, minus one bear attack. I mean, pretty good, right? The night mother is mother to all. It is her voice we follow. Her will. I retract my statement. Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. I'll be quiet, you great lover of lapdog. Man has had a long journey. But at least be civil. Mr. Cicero, I for one am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Thank you. <sighs> you and the Night Mother are, of course, welcome here. 
and you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Abbot. Understood, husband? But make no mistake, I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress. Perfectly. You're the boss. Ah, there you are. Good. That is done Come speaking now. with that muttering what figure everyone anyway. Else is saying, We've got we Ivory and Boot. You must go to the city of Martrox and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the head. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muriel. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract. Just do what. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muriel pays. Make it quick. Always on. Wait, oh wait! <gasps> I know you. Yes, yes! From the road, Cicero never forgets a face. I am, I am! But not just my mother, our mother. In and out of God's The night mother, oh yes. <laughs> and you helped me, you helped poor Cicero. You taught Dolores and got him to fix my wheel. Oh, you may have pleased me, but you have surely pleased the Night Mother, and our mother, she will never forget. Oh, yes, goodbye, goodbye. All right, well, Cicero has really set me off for the episode, but I believe that he'll be the perfect candidate for our screenshot. So, I'll just use some glorious Photoshop to get rid of, uh, actually no, I'm better than that. Alright, there we go. Well, thank you for watching. I